What is up, fellow nerds, and welcome back to the Dapper Snapper Gaming Channel, and welcome back to Meme GC. Now, it is our final episode of Meme GC for this year, and so it's a little bittersweet, but th today I wanted to show off something uh, pretty fun. I think this team is really, really cool, and we've got a Nidoking on this team. Um, Nidoking is one of those mods that, at least for me, I think it's really, really cool situationally, and it hits a lot of things really, really hard but it also just kind of gets destroyed by a lot of things as well. And so it either does really, really well or it does really, really poorly. And so it's a pretty cool mod though. I, I like to see it. Um, it's typically not gonna be your Dynamax option. So typically you're gonna have something else Dynamax, maybe Thunderous or Regirock. Um, but this team also has two modes to it, right? So we've got Nido King with the Thunderous. And so that has max airstream potential. We've got uh, the ability to set electric terrain, stop opposing uh, sleep. So things like Amoongus on the other side, maybe. Um, then we've got a, an Urshifu with Focus Sash, which is always really, really strong. A Specs Tapu Fini. This is a more offensive build for Tapu Fini. And then we've got a Trick Room option of Dusclops and Regirock. Um, this core can be really, really strong. Regirock can be really, really nice. Um, having really, really high defense, it can take a lot of hits. And then of course we've got Bulldoze that works really well with the uh, with the weakness policy and those good things. So yeah, it's a pretty neat team overall. I really like it. Uh, before we jump into today's episode, make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already. We're ending we're ending this year off pretty fun in, in a pretty fun way. Um, on Wednesday, we're going to be featuring another team with Urshifu on it. it Urshifu will not be the feature, but uh, we're going to have another team with Urshifu on it because Urshifu is currently being tested in OU singles. So. I want to get some use out of it. In, in doubles, obviously, it's not going anywhere, but I want, to, I want to use it before it possibly gets banned in singles, which I think it will be. So again, leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, share the video with everybody you know, just so that we can go ahead and uh, get bigger and bigger. We met our sub goal for 2020, and I would, love to, uh, I would love to meet our sub goal for 2021 as well. And of course, if you are already subscribed, make sure that you click the bell so you get notified of all of my videos going live. So let's go ahead and jump into the first match. Match number one of the day, and uh, we've got some Tailwind shenanigans, which could be quite problematic for us. Um, so how do we deal with this? Um, this is tough, right? Because Regirock looks pretty decent here overall. It looks pretty good. Um, and so I'd really like to work towards that, but a lead of Tornadus, like Tornadus Lapras could be a problem. Um, so for that reason, I, I think Regirock's Dusclops are going to be in the back. Um, I don't believe that they lead here. We're going to have to deal with that first. Um, I think we go Thunderous and is it Thunderous or Shifu? I believe so. And then Regirock Dusclops in the back. Yeah, I, I think this is fine. I think this is fine. Um, I want to go for the all-out offense and get the Lapras out of the way if I can. Obviously, it's going to cause me some issues just with screens and uh, just being really, really bulky, of course. But one thing that is nice is that it doesn't set hail, so it is still going to take two turns in order to get rid of my... Uh, in order to get rid of my Urshifu. And so it's actually... Incineroar, which is going to give Defiant to my Thunderous. So that's plus one. And then, of course, as long as I click Wicked Blow, then I don't care about the minus one. So actually, Intimidate is super fine there. Um, so as far as the Lapras goes, obviously the, uh, the obvious play is to click Max Lightning. But it also is super obvious to... It's also super obvious just for this thing to protect. Uh, or to max guard, rather. So I'm actually going to double into Incineroar here. Uh, do I want a close combat? I think so. I'm just going to double Incineroar, expecting a max guard out of the Lapras. If it goes for the screens, then so be it. But um, I have a feeling this thing's going to try to protect itself. Just because Thunderous being at plus one, it's very threatening. And so I, I have a feeling that, that, that's a, that there's a protect coming out here. 
So, yeah, we really don't need the speed boost at the moment because we're faster than than both of these mons by uh, quite a bit. But this should be the Lapras, uh, G-Max Lapras. And we should be... I mean, obviously it doesn't necessarily have to max guard here, but I feel like it's somewhat likely because I could just have doubled up uh, max lightning and close combat. It doesn't do it. All right. But we're going to go ahead and knock out this Incineroar here. And we're going to be raising the attack of both of these mons, making them even more dangerous. So we're now at plus two on our Thunderous and plus one on our uh, Urshifu. And so at plus one, close combat should be enough. Yeah, it is. Or actually at neutral because of the because uh, of the Intimidate. So we're at neutral now. Um, we lose our defenses a little bit, but we are Sash either way. So it's really not that big of a deal. And does click the Resonance. We should live one without policy. Yeah, we do live one since it hasn't activated its policy yet. Um, and there is no hail, but it is going to set the screens, which is never really a great thing. But I think we can, uh, I think we can figure out a way around it. Um, so we're not in the worst position in the world by any means. Tornadus does come in here, which is again very scary as far as having the tailwind. But that's fine because we do carry the. Uh, we do have the Regirock and Trick Room option in the back. So I believe now we're going to... Yeah, we're just going to double into Lapras here. If it was going to protect, it would have clicked it that first time. And so, yeah, we see the Tailwind here, which is fine. It should outspeed us now. No, it does not outspeed us, which is perfect. And Max Lightning just Okos it through screens. That's insane. Oh, it crit. Okay, that crit probably mattered. That, that crit prob... Well, we're plus two. Uh, I'm going to calc that. I'm going to calc that. Thunderous... I don't know. That's... Let's see here. So, Thunderous... Max attack. Wild charge. At plus two... Dynamaxed against a... G-Max Lapras. Yeah, I don't... I don't believe that that would have knocked out there. I really don't. Yeah, I, I don't believe that that would have knocked out there. So that probably mattered. I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that it mattered. Um, yeah. Yeah. So we want to get as much damage on the Finny as we can because obviously we can deal with the Tornadus really easily with Regirock. So if we can uh, if we can get this Finny weakened, then we should be just fine. Um, goes for the Hurricane. Blind Hurricane. As long as we don't get confused here and knock ourselves out, then we should be okay. All right, does go for the Moonblast. Will that be enough? It will be enough. Okay, crits me back probably didn't matter depending if it was specs then i would say it didn't matter if it wasn't specs then it might have but we're gonna get a, at least a little bit of damage off on this thing uh this is this is gonna hurt i did like a quarter it's something right it's it's some kind of damage so you know it's 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 something it's it's a little bit we got lefties going on here um I believe I go Dusclops here. Let Urshifu go down. Yeah, I believe that's what I do. Safety goggles, leftovers. Okay. Makes sense. And then we can go ahead and Trick Room here. Yeah, we'll go ahead and Trick Room here. We could also Trick Room Detect. To keep this around. Although, how many turns of Tailwind do we have left? Two more turns. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of want to trick room and detect here. So let's let's go for that. 
Because then we could get off just a little bit more damage. It does carry the taunt. That's unfortunate. That's that's very unfortunate. Okay, so yeah, some of them do, some of them don't, which is rough. But I mean, we wasted a turn of Tailwind either way. Um, so let's just click Nightshade here on the Finny. And we can sucker the Tornadus. Surely Tornadus goes down to this, right? Not quite. Wow. Hurricane but misses. Dang. Okay. And then Muddy Water will take out our... Uh, Muddy Water will take out our Shifu. This endgame's rough. This endgame's really rough. I was really hoping that the uh, Tornadus would have gone down there. But, I mean, ultimately, Tornadus really isn't threatening our, um, our Regirock all that much. It's just the Finny. Yeah, it's, it's just the Finny that's being a problem right now. And I'm a little concerned about it, to be honest with you. I believe I have to click Rock Slide here. That'll pick up the KO on Tornadus and then do at least decent damage to Finny. Assuming we live the muddy water, then that'll activate our policy. And that should be even bigger damage. But I'm not going to bother self-activating policy with Bulldoze or anything. Uh, I don't need any more damage on myself. That doesn't seem great. But this may just be another Tailwind. Yeah, it, that makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. Muddy water. Can we live this muddy water? Please. We do. Quite comfortably, actually. And that's our weakness policy. So Regirock may just end up uh, end up clutching it out here at the very end. No accuracy drops. There's the rock slide. Tornadus is gone. Finny hangs on quite easily. Which is a little scary. But we've got Nightshade as well, so we're wearing this thing down pretty quickly. I don't think that... Yeah, Finny can't knock us both out this turn. Uh, yeah, I think we're I think we're fine. I, I think we're fine. I'm not gonna bother trick rooming here. We're just gonna nightshade and rock slide. Yeah, I'm not I'm not even gonna bother. This should this should just be a win. I don't think Finny can knock us both out here. I don't think there's any situation in which he knocks us both out. And unless Muddy Water lowers my accuracy to the point where I can't hit any of my moves. We live on five, actually. I was kind of expecting uh, Regirock to go down there, but that would have been fine, just because Finny didn't have enough damage to knock out the Desclops. But we take a 2-0 victory. Very, very nice. This seems pretty cool. I, I really liked the uh, the Regirock endgame here. Uh, we don't necessarily have to max it. It's really good as a max option, obviously, because it's super bulky. And then you can set up the sand to help it on that special defensive side, which isn't as strong as its physically defensive side. But uh, it's a really cool option. It's a really cool option. So let's go ahead and uh, let's grab another game. Match number two, and we've got Tailwind again. Uh, Tailwind is quite strong nowadays, and it's, it's quite dangerous. Um, so what do we do against Tailwind with a uh, completely different team comp. Um, this this seems seems kind of dangerous. The Raichu is kind of a problem right here just because it is protecting the Gyarados. And if Gyarados starts going crazy, then we could be in some trouble. Uh, so I, I don't want to let that be, uh, I, I don't want to let that go unchecked. I think Thunderous looks really good here. I, I really like Thunderous in this matchup. So I, I believe we lead with it. Um, I think Regirock is also our play for in the back in this game. Um, I, I think that that's another... I think we bring that again. Do we bring Nidoking here? Nidoking looks pretty good. I'm kind of thinking this. Do we want to bring all offense with no Regirock? No, I, I think... I think we bring the Trick Room mode in the back. Yeah, I, I think that this is what we do. Um, I, I like this option, right? Because we're really fast. We can get our own speed boosts going. And 
If Nidoking can start out speeding things, we can start picking up KOs. It obviously threatens the Whimsicott pretty good. Um, we want to get that Whimsicott out of here as quickly as possible. That thing can cause all kinds of issues. And I have a feeling we're going to see it on the lead. We do. Mamoswine is its partner, which is a little dangerous. It's quite dangerous. Not so much for Regirock. Um, so this would have been a good time to have led with the uh, Trick Room option. But it's all good. It's all good. So what do we want to lead? What do we want to go for here, rather? Um, I'm somewhat tempted to max guard here. Or Airstream. I feel like it's an ice type move into the Thunderous. I, I feel like that's what's coming. Let's airstream the Whimsicott. And yeah, let, let's try to get the Whimsicott out of here turn one. Get a speed boost as well. Um, I, I think that this is our play here. M Mamo could be policy, but you've got a you've got a Metagross, so I feel like that has to be your policy user. I don't I don't think that you put policy on this when you have a Metagross in the back. So I, I'm Okay, so actually goes for Taunt on this, expecting it to be Prankster. We are not Prankster. We are we are all offense on this boy right here. So Wimscott is sashed, as expected, and we need to get that taunt out of here so that we can have our uh, our end game. Low battery, oh no. We'll figure it out. It'll be alright. So now we're even faster. There we go. And we're going to knock out this Whimsicott. Very good. So does Mamo go into Nidoking or does it, it does go into Nidoking? High horsepower into Nidoking. I doubt we take this. Yeah, we don't. <laughs> Poor Nidoking. He's, he's just trying to be a good boy and he just always gets taken out prematurely. Uh, there is the HP uh, dropping from the Life Orb. So good to know. Um, let's go Regirock here. I have a feeling Regirock can take one of whatever the, uh, of whatever the Mamoswine wants to do. And may not necessarily need Trick Room here. We've got to be careful about boosting our speed here, though, if we want to have the Trick Room endgame. That could end up being a problem. It actually is Gyarados, which isn't too terrible to see. I just wonder if Raichu is hanging out in the back. I really feel like you don't bring Raichu here, though. I, I, I really... I mean, Raichu's good, right? Raichu's pretty good. I think we just knock out Gyarados here. And we could also curse with this, too. Or protect. Hmm. I think we curse here. Yeah, I think I think we need to boost our defense here, and I, and I think we're honestly okay. Um, just with the speed boost, we should outspeed a Gyarados, and I highly doubt you're going to take a wild charge. So the only time that this is going to be bad for us is if you max guard. Do you max guard here based on like Dragon Dance? Possible, but if you didn't max guard, this thing's going down. Did not. Ow. That did a significant amount of damage. But this should not live this. Yeah, it did not. Okay, I, I didn't think so. I, I didn't I didn't think so. So yeah, that thing's gone. We wasted the max. We targeted correctly. Good with that. Get out of here. And we're going to boost our attack and defense with the curse. So we're in a good position. I'm I'm pretty happy with uh, with our positioning this game, and Regirock is honestly one of those mons that, like, you really sleep on it as far as being a uh, being an offensive threat, but it really can it can deal out some damage. Like it really can, and I, I like it. I think it's a good boy, and Metagross is the last. Okay, so I want to max knuckle the Mamoswine. And Earthquake here. 
just get off as much damage as we possibly can. We'll be at plus two. As long as we get the same roll on Ice Shard and we didn't min roll and then get a max roll and the Memoswine knock us out, as long as we survive this, although he could have Bullet Punch too, and I get double prioritized. Either way, they're taking a plus one Earthquake, which they're not going to appreciate. And I still have, I still have a uh, Dusclops in the back. No priority at all, actually. So that should take out Mamoswine. It doesn't quite take it out. Unfort. Unfortunate. But at the same time, I don't think an Iron Head takes out Regirock. High horsepower goes into Regirock. We should live that. We do. Do you double into Regirock here? Because if not, you're taking a weakness policy boosted Earthquake to the face. Which could be quite dangerous for you. Mamoswine knocks itself out. Nice. We take those. No, targeted into this as well. Wow. We still lived it, though. <laughs> wow. So, yeah, now you're taking a plus three Earthquake. And it's gone. <laughs> wow. This thing's insane. Uh, I love Regirock. I, I think it's a good boy. I mean, it, it only has base 100 attack. But, like... With it being so bulky on the physical side, it can get a lot of boosts with the weakness policy. Like, and, and that curse definitely made a huge difference because otherwise we wouldn't have survived that turn. Um, so, I mean, Curse Regirock, it's a thing. It's a cool thing. Um, I'm, I'm a fan of it. So, let's get one more game to end the day. Final match of the day, and this is an interesting team seeing a ride on. I haven't seen a ride on like ever in series seven. Um, so that's a definitely an interesting bring. Um, but otherwise we've got a pretty cool looking sun team with Lapras and Clefable. Um, so I, again, I really feel like Nido King is good here, but at the same time, like I've said that about a lot of things and Nido King just kind of goes down. So it's a little difficult. It's a little difficult. How good does Dusclops Regirock look here? <sighs> Not great. To be honest, um, I really don't think that they're going to be our... Uh, I don't think they're going to be the stars of the show this time. So I believe we're going to bring Thunderous. And what do we bring with it? Assuming we see... Let's go Thunderous, Nidoking, or Shifu, Tapu Fini. Yeah, I think we bring the all-out offensive core, leave Trick Room behind. Just because I don't think it would be very easy to get it off. I don't think it'd be very easy to get it up. And then even if we did, Regirock's kind of in danger from everything except for the Charizard. Basically everything else threatens it. So I, I don't think that it's the best. We see Lapras Clefable. This is fine. This is fine. This is totally fine. At least to me, this is fine. So... Do we max Thunderous? We just max Thunderous and go to town, right? I, I think that's our... I think that's our play here. Um, we don't really need speed boosts here, do we? I mean, we might for what comes in the back, as far as the Sun Core. But for this, I think we really just need damage on the, uh, on the Lapras. So we're going to activate a policy here which is unfortunate, or we could just airstream into it and then try to KO it next turn. Um, let's try to get damage off on this Clefable because otherwise our Shifu kind of struggles. Um, but I want to get damage off on the Lapras, big damage off on the Lapras, enough to where our Shifu can take out the Lapras. And then we need, the Nido King might end up being really nice to get rid of the Clefable. So, the only thing I'm a little concerned about might be the Venusaur in the back. That thing could be a little scary, just because, you know, Venusaur in the sun. Uh, definitely a threat, but it won't be maxing. So, that's a good thing. And we could set the electric terrain here in order to prevent sleep. So, no sleep powders or anything like that. I really hope this Clefable isn't like a blind sing kind of something, because if it is, that could be a problem. Okay, follow me. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. I think that's fine. Um, we're gonna get an Airstream off. We do half, so I mean, 
If we did half with an Airstream, I would think that we can knock this thing out here with Nido King. Just because Nido King hit. Uh, maybe not anymore. It's Barry. Uh, maybe. Mm, mm, I don't know if we do that much. That's a lot of damage. Nido King strong, though. Nice. Okay, so Clefable's gone. No more redirection. So, I mean, we're, we're going to need to take that out anyway. So, we'll probably see the ice move. Yep. Onto Thunderous. Yep. We can live one. We don't like it, but we can live one. So, you know, okay start, I guess. About as about as good as it could have gone. And so what do you bring in the back? Is it the Ninetales? Do you have Ninetales Venusaur in the back? Or did you bring something else? Because that could make a big difference. Um, but yeah, redirection is definitely interesting there. Um, I bet you anything that thing carried Sing. And that's just kind of the last ditch effort is just go for Sing and hope that things happen. Okay, so in comes Venusaur. Um, I need to set Max Lightning here. Yeah, I, I need to set Max Lightning here for sure. Just, I can't... I can't afford to be put to sleep. Because otherwise that's really scary. And then I think we just Sludge Bomb into Lapras as well. I think we just double down into Lapras. And the immediate withdraw into ride on okay changing your mind for the electric moves this thing has lightning rod that's what this thing does i haven't faced a ride on and i forgot about lightning rod oh no that's a problem that's why you bring it that's why you bring it okay yeah i deserve to lose i deserve to lose my thunderous here lightning rod is a thing okay that checks out. That checks out. Ah, oh, man, I forgot about that. Okay. But we know that there's no sun now. So that's a good thing. And Finny could come out here rather than Urshifu. Yeah, save Urshifu for the last. I think, I think we have to save it. So we're going to bring Finny out first. I'm just a little concerned about this Lapras, though. This Lapras is quite problematic. Um, Rhydon really isn't putting on a whole lot of pressure. So I think we Moonblast Lapras. And we could Earth Power or Ice Beam into that, but I think we just need to get damage off on Lapras. Um, it could just Max Guard, though. I have a feeling it... No, I don't think you Max Guard here. I don't think you max guard here. I don't think you get enough out of the turn if you max guard. Because, I mean, what's Rhydon going to do? It, I mean, it can knock out the Nido King, but it's not that much damage. Yeah, we're doing zero damage to this thing. And max lightning into your own lightning rod? I don't know if you meant to do that. Did you mean to do that? Is this thing special? It's not. Yeah, I don't think you meant to do that. Uh, I think... I, I don't believe that you meant to max lightning into that. I think you meant to do that into the Tapu Fini. So, kind of messed up your own strat there, unfortunately. But we do have our Shifu, so this is not over. This battle is definitely not over as the max ends. So, we've still we've still got a chance here. We've still got a chance for sure. Um I don't I don't know if it's water absorb or not. Uh I'm gonna assume that it is. I I'm gonna assume this is Water Absorb, even though it's most likely Shell Armor. Okay, we go ahead and knock out Lapras. That's gone. I'm good with that. Um, and so now we can click Water-type moves or Fighting-type moves on the Rhydon. Very good. And that just almost knocked it out. <laughs> That's kind of insane. Body Press, ooh, cool tech. Cool tech. I like that. I like that tech. That's pretty cool. Alright. Body press right on with lightning rod. That's... This could be a thing. This could be a thing. Although, what are your advantages of running this over Rhyperior? I guess is my question. Oh yeah, I'm Specs. That's not great. Uh, that's... That's not good. 
I completely forgot that I was Specs. Um, I guess we knock out Rhydon here. And we could blow the Venusaur. Yeah, we just need as much damage off on that as possible. Specs may end up being a problem. Right on protects. That's fine. That's fine. We get a big wicked blow off on the Ursh on the uh, Venusaur. Big damage. Wow. And just goes for the energy ball onto the Urshifu, actually. Hmm. Man, if we had doubled into Venusaur there, I think we would have won. If we had doubled into Venusaur there, we could have won. But I don't believe... I don't believe we survived the hit from Venusaur. Yeah, I, I don't think we survive it. Energy Ball is going to hurt so much. Yeah, it... Yeah, Choice Banded would have been would have been really good here on our Shifu. That could have picked up the Venusaur KO. Um, yeah, tough end game. Tough end game. But interesting team though, Rhydon. Absolutely destroying me. <laughs> I got absolutely wrecked by Rhydon. But you know what? It's fine. It's fine. It happens. I, I like I like seeing the weird the weird things work out. Um, that did so much damage. Wow. Okay. Um, yeah, so we have to knock this out, but it's too little too late because I can't switch moves. So, yeah, it, it doesn't matter. High horsepower should do more than enough. Yeah, it does. Okay. So I got wrecked by Radon. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, it's cool, though. It's cool. I like seeing that. You you know, we, we used to see Rhyperior all the time in Trick Room, um, and it did all kinds of damage with Weakness Policy, but nowadays you don't really see it anymore. So it's interesting to see its uh, its little brother coming in and, and doing some work. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of Meme GC. If you did, make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you are new. And here, of course, is the team code for you to use if you would like to use this yourself. And there will, of course, be a poke paste and all that good stuff in the description below for you as well. So I hope you have a great week this week leading up to New Year's. And I hope you had a great Christmas, um, all that good stuff. So anyway, we'll see you Wednesday for an awesome Wi-Fi battle. Until then, stay safe out there. Stay healthy. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.